there, welcome to Laura and Lori's cooking class. And tonight we're going to show you how to make a cauliflower pizza, pizza crust. And we're going to do a vegetarian keto pizza with that cauliflower pizza crust. Because my daughter said she wanted pizza tonight. So, first of all, you're going to start off with a 17 by 12 inch pan. And it's going to be lined with parchment paper. So... I'm going to make sure the parchment paper is a little bit bigger than the pan. And then, since we're doing keto, sorry about my nine-month-old in the background, we grate our own mozzarella cheese. And then we have some Parmesan cheese. You can also use fresh if you want, but we didn't have any on hand, so I'm going to use this. And, wait, hon, okay. Um, two large eggs, and we have two extra large eggs. This here is going to um, make the dough along with the cauliflower. And then we're for our toppings, we're going yeah, to use, because we're doing vegetarian, we're going to use spinach. <laughs> we're going to do black olives. We have an assortment of different colors of uh, peppers. I had one Rom Romano <laughs> tomato in my refrigerator, and I thought, ah, we'll just throw that on there, so I cut it up. Um, onion, and then some fresh mushrooms. Seasonings we're going to use are garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and the parsley. Of course, we have our cauliflower. And then for the sauce, there's uh, the sauces you can do whatever you want with, but you want to make sure the carbs are low for keto. I have found that this one here is especially low, and I like this one a lot, and it seems like my friends and family do too. This one is another alternative, a little more easier to find. Or, if you want to go more traditional keto, you can do the homemade marinara sauce. Um, there's several different brands out there, but you want to make sure that your carbs are low and your sugars are very low when um, you're doing your sauces, okay? Now, let's get cooking. Let's make the crust first. Okay, first we're going to cut up the cauliflower, and I want to show you that you don't have to grate it. You don't have to pulverize it, put it in your blender, your ninja, or anything like that. Um, I guess you can buy it cut up small. Um, I've never found it in any stores around here, but there's a lady I know in Texas that has her own Facebook page, and she says she buys it already all cut up. So that's great if you can. I'm sure you'll pay a couple more pennies for it, um, you know, for the convenience. But anyway, um, I don't mind cutting it up. But anyway, you, you want to have it about this size. You don't need to have it any smaller. In fact, actually, if you have it smaller, the crust is not going to turn out right. Okay, so about like this, and we're going to use, uh, we're going to do about uh, three and a fourth uh, cups of this cauliflower, this size. Okay, so this is three and a fourth cups cut up of cauliflower, and as you can see, look at how much we have left. And I didn't even have a full head because I used a little bit on another recipe. So that's that's quite a bit. Okay, now we're going to take, and we're going to get some Parmesan cheese here. I'm sorry, mozzarella cheese first. Let's do the mozzarella cheese first. Okay, hon, you want to dump that in there? Yeah, ma'am. That's one cup. Okay, got it in there, one cup. Okay, now I'll put a three-fourths of a cup. So a total of one and three-fourths cup of mozzarella. I usually keep this in the refrigerator, so hold a second. Let me break it up a little bit. And then one cup of the Parmesan cheese. Of course, if you can get fresh, that would be the best. Okay. I'll make it up. Okay, you go ahead and mix it up. And as she's mixing it up, we're going to just sprinkle in some garlic powder. Eat the mama. You're welcome. And we're going to sprinkle in some Italian seasoning. Did you? 
You're welcome. Okay, get those out of the way. Keep mixing it. Now as you do that, I'm going to start adding the eggs. Remember there's, remember there's four eggs, two extra large and two large for this size of a pizza pan we're using. Now, as you can see, that pan is going to feed a, a lot. Hey. Just a minute, hon, but you were stirring and the bowl was moving and I didn't want the onions to fall off. Okay? okay. There you go. Okay, mix it all up. Okay, she's got it all mixed up, and this is what it should look like. And now, I know you're thinking, wow, that's going to make a crust. It's awful chunky. But believe it or not, it does. That's high. Yeah. So we're going to stick it on the par par parchment here. And if I can't talk tonight, I apologize. I don't know what's going on with me today. So. Me too. You too. This is where our hands are going to get a little bit messy, we do but we're gonna you. we're gonna get it all fixed up here. Okay, as you see, you got to push it around here, but look at that. It's all chunky, yeah. like you're thinking. Oh my goodness, how is that going to work? And I had the same doubt the first time I made this crust. But believe it or not, this is by far the easiest cauliflower crust you'll ever make because you don't have to use a cheesecloth and squeeze out all the excess water and all of that nonsense that a couple years ago when I made a cauliflower crust I had to do. So we've got it pretty good here. And believe it or not, it is all going to gel together, and you'll see after it gets done baking. So now we're going to put it in the oven. You see we got it for 400 degrees there. We're going to stick it in the oven. Wait a minute, honey. Mommy has to mommy has to talk to the people, okay? Just wait a minute. So I know you, I know you have a lot to say, but can you wait a minute, please? Okay, so we're going to put it at 400 degrees, and we're going to have it for 25 the 30 minutes. We're gonna um, take a look at it after 25 hi. minutes. I say, what do you have to say? The Bible says, uh, help. The Bible says what? Say, hey, please say, how I die. And my grandpa died. Yes, and grandpa did die. But you're gonna see him one day in heaven, right? Yeah. Okay, as you can see over here, I'm setting the oven for 25 minutes, and we'll check at 25 minutes. So see you in a few. The cauliflower pizzas in the oven. I just wanted to show you. Um, I like to uh, I like to work uh, consistently. I don't like to have any downtime. So while that was uh, cooking, I decided to make a flathead pizza crust, and I'm going to put this in the freezer for another day when I'm really busy. So if you want to know how to make the flat, the fat head pizza crust, please refer to um, one of my earlier videos on how to make a keto pizza because the dough that you are looking at right now is in that video. And basically what I did was I fried up some Italian sausage. This time instead of having it really loose and fine ground, I made it into like little patties. And I am basically going to make a cheese sausage and mushroom fat head pizza and I am going to put it into our freezer. So anyway, if you're interested in that pizza recipe, like I get like I said again, please refer to one of our earlier videos that Laura and I did. All right, it's been 25 minutes. Our buzzer just rang and it looks wonderful. See how it gelled all together even though it looked very choppy? And we were wondering, well, how is that going to work? There you go. Now we're going to put the toppings on. Okay, first we're going to put the sauce. I'll help you. Yep, you're going to help me in a minute put on the spinach. Like that. Now we're going to put the spinach on. And how we're going to do that was we're just going to lay it flat like this. Go ahead, Laura, and start laying it. And we're going to put as much as we can on, on the bottom layer. 
Okay, now we're going to put on the onions. I'm just going to sprinkle. Go ahead, hon. Sprinkle. Now we're going to put some peppers on there. Exactly. And what we do with our peppers is in the summer we grow like them peppers. and then we cut them up Mama and we freeze peppers. them. You don't, but you eat them all the time here. Tomatoes. Okay, now we're going to put some tomato on. That's right. Sing while we're cooking. And now we layer the mushrooms. Mommy, Dad. Help me, us. Help me, help us. Daddy, help us. Help us. We're going to have black olives and no eating, young lady. No yeah. eating. Mm -hmm. Turn and look at the audience. Mm -hmm. Say, I shall not eat. I don't eat it. If we have some leftover, you can. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we do the cheese. Go. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle the the parsley on here. Oh man. Just a little bit. If you want, you can sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese too. But we're just going to do the parsley. And as you can see, this is pretty loaded. So can't wait to eat it. We're going to put it in the oven again. 400 degrees for 15 minutes this time. And we'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. And here we go. Mm. Cauliflower crust keto vegetarian pizza. And over here to freeze, a sausage, cheese, and mushroom flathead. Fathead pizza. It's hot, so we cut it up a little bit for her. What's your verdict? Good. It's good? You like it? Gorgeous. That's your black mushrooms you love. I like mushrooms. <laughs> I mean your black olives, sorry. Black olives you love, remember? The mushroom? Nope, this is the cauliflower crust. Is it good? So what do you give it? Thumbs up? Do you give it a th two thumbs up? All right. Two thumbs up from a four-year-old. So if you guys try this pizza, let me know if you like it or not. And if you do like it, please share it with all your friends, especially those that are gluten intolerant, keto, or low-carb. This is something you can eat, and it's easy to make. Until next time, bon appetit. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lori yeah. and this is Laura yeah. and we have a cooking show called Lori and Laura yeah. and uh, if you would like to watch our videos if you could subscribe up here and if you like what you see then down here is the links to watch more videos. Yeah. We hope you like it and uh, are entertained. Yeah. Have a good day.